The DeWitt Center in Roxbury is adding a new attraction operated by the Madison Park Development Corporation. The community center has a variety of programs from technology and literacy to martial arts and Zumba. Starting March 28th, there will also be a new feature, a historical photo exhibit based in Roxbury. To tell us about the exhibit and other programs is the center's executive director. Erica Davis, uh, thank you very much for being with us, Erica. Thank you for having me. First of all, what's it like when you see these photos and you see uh, the way people in the city look maybe uh, 30 years ago or something like that? Well, you see how Boston has evolved. You see that we have culture in our community and you also see how we have the culture that is in our community also in our center because we're displaying images from Boston artists and it's good that they come to the center and they get to see some of their painting and then the community get to see it. Of course, one of the things people will see about some obvious uh, changes that were very noticeable 30 plus years ago when, when they took down the L. One of the photos there by David Akiva shows a young lady waiting for a train, uh, mm -hmm. an outbound train, I, I remember, on mm -hmm. Dudley Street. Yeah, yeah then, we had, back then we had a train right in the center of Dudley Station and you can see the young lady sitting up on top on a platform waiting for the train and now when people come to the center they're like, wow. Dudley has really evolved because there's no more train line. You know, there's definitely not in the middle of the station. But then those who never seen the train say, wow, there was a train? So you get, you get to see the connection of those who've been around uh, for a while and they, they get to relate to the, the photos. But then you get the young people who's always in Dudley Station saying, there was a train there before. <laughs> The other thing is there's also a painting of the station in this exhibit, at least the bus station that's there today then, right? Mm -hmm. So we have, yeah, there's a painting of um, the, the bus station where it used to be, and the station is still there and we still have buses, but it just sees how it just has changed. And over the years it's still changing. But it's good that we have um, artists who took the pictures who can come in and they really, it's good when they see some of their relatives in the pictures, right? So they, they're seeing the old Dudley station and they say, oh, that's my aunt or that's a relative of mine. And it's good because not only are they able to display their work, but they're also able to connect because they know the people in the, in the images. Another picture, uh, I'm sure some people coming in this exhibit will sit spot somebody they recognize, uh, some young men working for a moving company? Yeah, that was a, a black owned business and the moving company were was well known during that, period, during that time frame and they were uh, one of the, I believe, one of the first moving companies. So we see that image and it shows you where it was stationed at and I believe that was a photo taken in Dudley as well. Well, you've got the documentary photos and paintings, but uh, some of the other things that may be more imaginative, there's, there's a painting called Asatora. Tell me a little bit about that. Asatora, um, the painting, that's the one of, we have a nice image that shows uh, a female African-American woman holding her child, and you see really the features that's, that, that's, that's taken, that, that's really displayed in the image, and you also see uh, culture in that image. The coloring is great, and what, that image is one of our most popular images in our, in our center, and I just got a duplicate to put in my office because I love the image so well. For a moment, I, I thought it was a stained glass window in a church. Uh, why do people like it so much, you think? I think because uh, they're able to connect and they're able to relate, uh, and also the coloring. The different, the different colors give you a different feel, right? And then we also have um, the, just the, the features of the, both individuals in the pictures are nice as well. I should mention uh, there are some other things in there that don't look so much like ancient history as maybe last week's history. There's this young man with his cell phone at one of the stops on the T. Uh, tell me a little bit about that photo. Well, I, I like that photo as well because you have a young man. He's in the train station and he's he's on his phone. He got uh, I think he has on some headphones and you, you, if you see his style, he got a nice uh, they call a high top haircut and then you, you see his clothing. So he's really it's just a photo of a young man in this train station and on his phone and probably probably about to call a friend or whoever he's going to connect to. But the image really relates to what young people see when they're in the train station as well. What or what anyone would see when they're in the train station. Well, you know, it's, it's not every community center in the city that has a photo exhibit about the surrounding neighborhoods. So, mm -hmm. so, so what, what got this idea to have an exhibit like this at the DeWitt? We wanted the images in the DeWitt Center to reflect what's 
going on in our community. We wanted people to be able to come to the center and see images that they can relate to. And we also wanted to show the community that we want to support artists from our community. Um, so a lot of the photos are Roxbury roots and uh, most of the artists are from Boston. We should mention you have a lot of other programs going on there. Uh, one thing I think it's been around for a long time, uh, partnering with uh, uh, the organization is the uh, Timothy Smith Technology Center. Uh, what goes on there exactly? Well, at TSN, the Timothy Smith Network, we have um, they have a range of programs for all ages. They provide programs from from as low as toddlers all the way up to senior citizens. So for our seniors, they're doing um, Android. So a lot of seniors are getting acclimated with how to go to so how to go on to Facebook, how to go on to Instagram. So they're really teaching them the basics of Androids. And then for our toddlers, they're doing like Lego robotics, where we're getting them into uh, technology at a young age. And then we have teenagers, they're doing a lot of website design, not only just teenagers, but those who are into creating their own business, who want to design their own website, they're doing a web design class. How important do you think this is? Because not every kid grows up with the ability to just do that at home, right? Mm -hmm. It's important to have it in your community, right? So we have surrounding the Do It Center, you have a lot of our property, so a lot of our residents are able to benefit from these programs. So they're really just walking across the street, being able to take a free technology class, and then we decide what classes that we want to hold at the center based off of what residents are asking for. Another program uh, you have is something to do with safety for girls and young women. Can mm -hmm. there, tell me a little bit about that too. So we have our lip gloss program and it's really teaching uh, young ladies, it's a mentorship program, but it's also teaching them like how to be safe. And then not only do we have a lip, a lip gloss program, we have different community office, officers coming in to teach safety classes with the young ladies, which is like a self-defense class. How do you defend yourself if you're being attacked? And what are some strategies that you should use if, if you're ever in a situation where you have to protect yourself or defend yourself? Well, maybe we should uh, remind our viewers one more time about when the exhibit starts and how long it's going to be there. Yeah, so uh, we're having our art gallery celebration on March 28th and it's going to be from 6.30 to 8 p.m., but the artwork's going to stay in the center for a while. And people can just drop in most of the time in the afternoon or evening? Yeah, at any time they can come to our center and do a walkthrough and just check out all, any of our artwork. It's um, open to the public. There's no charge. And I know there's some place on the web where you also have some information about your new program, so people want that, uh, where if should they, they look for it? If they want to find information about any of our program, they can go to Madison Park, uh, www.madisonpark-org, and then they can find a range of our programming, and then we also have, they can have to click on the Do It Center tab and scroll down, and it lists all of our program. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Erica Davis from the DeWitt Center.